Something tells me they've had enough of us. Really? What gives you that idea? Stand here, quick! Don't wait, just go! Nathan! Nathan! Get up, brother, we gotta go! We gotta go! Now! Let's try this again. Mango, Mango! What are you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. Mm. Are you always this clever? Uh, I have my moments. Yes. You, you and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. Hey, there's, there's still time. Trust a drink. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey just, just let's talk about it. Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just, uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. Oh, come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Go! <laughs>
fast. But you're not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they... Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody just... Just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate. Samuel. Put your guns down. All of you. No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. So be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! Rafe! It's done! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! <laughs> Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on, now you're a businessman. Let's just, just work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. Love to hear what you have in mind. Oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just. I... You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. The gout shows on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied. You lied to your baby brother. We're wasting time. Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, is alive, and somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden, and your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. No. Uh, oh, yeah? No, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no, no. Listen, Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my light for you. <laughs> hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix. And I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But, <clears throat> all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it. Or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself. Keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, Rafe, you don't, don't, don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Nate. Hey, Nate. There it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I don't know, no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. <sighs> and here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? Start by finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking a window. Pretty <laughs> sure the front door will be locked. Let's look around back, huh? Hey, Nathan, look. It's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. Okay, give me your hand. All right, there you go. Come on, Nathan. Whoa. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Nothing in here. Nope. It's not gonna be in this attic. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Huh. Yeah, that'll do. <sighs> Down we go. <sighs> so, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but... Such a large place. Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Was this your house? Hey, these boxes remind you of anything? 
Every place we ever lived. Exactly. <sighs> I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep. Always the asshole. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in the right... Budge. <clears throat> Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! 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 <sighs> what the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. <laughs> Sam, this is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. When I die, bury me in one of these. Sure. Can I mummify you and put your organs in a jar, too? On second thought, maybe not. Hmm. And you recognize that one? Uh, I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Husband and wife, and buried together. It's kind of dark. Like in an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Man, what I wouldn't give to get an invite like this. I just read this one. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well... Here we go. <laughs> India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Yeah, it might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, hey don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. And it wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Okay. One last spin. Brazil. Hey, now you're talking. All kinds of undiscovered places in the rainforest. And all kinds of undiscovered tribes with poison darts. Yeah. That too. Hey, check it out. <sighs> Utility totems. Hey, 
Are you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Eh, never too old. Wow. This table is as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Hornets of Arabia. Jousting armor. Looks French. Hey, maybe don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much. When do you like classical music? Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <laughs> Must be something, right? Samurai. Eh? You recognize the crest? <sighs> uh, hollyhock leaves are, um... Let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me... Uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. <sighs> Damn it. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing for Mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. Okay. I don't think Mom's journals are anywhere in here. That's, uh... Let's check upstairs. Going it alone. A dragon gone. Hmm. Huh. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Look at these. Compass, sundial. Just imagine being lost at sea. And those instruments are the only thing standing between death and salvation. Hey, they've got your favorite book here. Really? Which one? A general history of the robberies and murders of the most notorious pirates. Yeah, more like a generally made up history. Even the author's <laughs> name is a fake. Locked. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. 
We gotta find another way in. Get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can't handle it. All right. Let's see what you got then. Here. Hey, don't fall. Okay, I'm in. Can you get the door open? <sighs> Coding. Lots of painkillers. <sighs> it's locked from this side, too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? Anything? Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. <laughs> 